Hello there and welcome to today's video. So right behind me I've got a 2010 um, Toyota Hilux. Problem that it has got is that um, it had an ECU which uh, malfunctioned. So what the owner did is um, he went on and bought a new ECU. Um, when he bought a new ECU, unfortunately that ECU was uh, from a similar Hilux but which was an automatic transmission, right? So when he connected his ECU, the ECU starts the vehicle, but it is with a check light that doesn't go away, right? Now, I remember the last time I encountered such a problem um, was on my brother's vehicle, which had, um, which he did the same thing. And for years he had been driving with the check engine light on. So other problems would, would emanate, but he would not know, right? He would not know that, you know what, I've got another problem simply because um, he was always driving with the check engine on, right? So this is the same problem that this Hilux has got. The challenge, obviously, um, is that you end up have, getting to a point where your car has got uh, catastrophic malfunctions, right? And you won't even know that that is happening and you continue to drive it and that can even become more expensive, right? So I decided to talk about this Hilux because I noticed some of you guys um, sometimes struggle with these issues. Uh, you've got a vehicle that has got a uh, malfunctioning ECU, you, sourcing that particular ECU is, is a bit difficult. And at the same time, when you've sourced an ECU, which is not, like in this case, they bought an automatic, you don't know exactly what to do with that ECU. That's what I'm going to talk about in this video, and I hope you'll be able to get um, some valuable insights and some valuable information at the, so that at the end of the day, you'll be able to know, right? You'll be able to know what to do and how to solve such a problem, okay? So I know fully well that um, when you order these ECUs, uh, you ask someone, is it for a Toyota Hilux of the year 2010? Is it manual? Is it automatic? And they say, yes, yes, yes. Those are the answers that they're giving you, right? And you buy it, right? Only when you connect on the vehicle, that's when you realize, oh no, this is not a what? This is not um, for an automatic uh, transmission. This is not, uh, this is actually an auto. It's not for manual. You might even realize that this is, uh, a from a hybrid truck from a hybrid Toyota Dyna but you've put it on a normal Toyota Dyna which is not a hybrid vehicle and uh, the car will not perform well the car will not perform well it will show a check engine light that will not go away right um, or maybe the transmissions are different like are different in this case right but the truck starts right so what do you, you then have to do in such a scenario, like what we then uh, proceeded to do on this Hilux is we then cloned the ECUs, transferred the data from this ECU, dead ECU, and we put it on the uh, new ECU. Having done that, we have solved a lot of problems here. They won't have to uh, bang their head against the wall to go and try to find an ECU that is for a manual. Because manual, apparently, especially in my country, they are pretty much expensive to find and um, pretty much difficult to find and also expensive when you do find them, right? So that's pretty much um, the solution that is available. That is pretty much what we can do over here. Now, a trick that I want to show you, right, for guys who are a little bit uh, advanced, is when you open the, these two ECUs, you're going to see the boards, they're going to show these numbers. So this, um, now I've got the ECU opened. As you can see, when you open the board, there are some numbers which are written. Let me just get the camera to focus. Okay, there we go. Okay, it says 175822-887, right? With a star at the end. That is for the uh, dead ECU. The new ECU, again, it says 175822-887. Eight, eight, so those are the most important numbers when you're getting an ECU, right? Uh, why are they so important? It's because they tell us that the board is exactly the same. They tell us that the hardware is 100% identical, right? So what may differ could be the software, the way it thinks, but it is exactly the same ECU. So the gibberish that you're going to see at the top, on the top cover, the, the housing of the ECU, that gibberish, only Toyota is able to interpret that information. You understand? Not you, right? It tells them where it was manufactured, which plant, whether it's manual, whether it's automatic, what equipment it has, and so forth and so forth. You are not able to decode it because you are not Toyota. You don't have the, 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 the decoding tools that they have. Um, so pretty much when you just look at the board, 
it tells you that it is identical right and that's good for you especially if you've got access to us because what then it means is that we can really transfer uh your 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 data from the old ecu to the new ecu forget about whether the, the that ecu you bought is for a hybrid forget if it is um for um, automatic transmission or manual transmission whatever your vehicle is we're able to make it work uh, that's pretty much how we do it so if you're watching this video and um, you're struggling with an ecu that you bought um, it's looking for an automatic transmission which your vehicle doesn't have or it's looking for a hybrid uh, control module which your vehicle doesn't have uh, pretty much we're able to rectify that issue um, because it works for your vehicle but it's just that uh, unfortunately uh, you've just bought an ECU which works for another vehicle you don't have to throw it away you can pretty much make it work for your vehicle and that's a solution that we have here available in the DPF team now you might be thinking that we only do emissions but even these ECUs we're able to calibrate them so that they just fit and work for your particular vehicle um, in the case that you had to buy a brand new ECU and to replace those ECUs okay thank you very much for watching